people often ask me, where do you go? How do you know where to look for fossils? And, and that's a very good question. Uh, paleontologists do a lot of research before we actually get out to the field. We need to know what kind of rocks are, are there, if they're exposed. And that's very important because the age tells us what animals we might find. And the kind of rocks are also important. Uh, we look for fossils in sedimentary rocks, rocks that were laid down by rivers and streams when these animals actually lived, lived here, in this case about 68 million years ago. Once we're out in the field, we do a lot of walking. Paleontologists, uh, vertebrate paleontologists, don't do a lot of digging necessarily until we find something. But it's prospecting or looking for fossils that, that, that gives us these clues. So we walk up and down and, and around on the badlands, and, and we look for bone that's actually weathering out, eroding out of the, of the surface of, the, uh, of these badlands. And uh, in that case, that gives us the clues to what might be beneath the surface. And this bone, or float we call it, um, as we walk up and down, it collects in the little drainages. And, and as I said, that gives us an idea of what might be beneath the surface. And once we find something, then we can sit down, take our tools out of our pack, and slowly with, with brushes and small picks, uh, expose what's there. And, and if you found something of note, then you'll, it'll be good. You can stop walking, you can sit there for a while. So we do a lot of walking and uh, up and down and looking at the geology looking at the right levels, because even where I'm sitting now, this was, this was an old, uh, an ancient riverbed, river system, uh, with overbank deposits of finer grain sediments that, uh, that buried these animals, and we find their fossils in these, in these sediments. So to a paleontologist, this area is, is still alive, and um, it's a great place to go to and look for fossils.